That's not a baby. That's not a baby. That wasn't a baby. The attention to detail on the little. We're looking at blue skies. Look at that. Warm look, at the little, look at the little lines. I can almost grab it. I can almost just take it off of her hair. I can feel. Let me hear those final. Russell, Russell. Ah! Oh, I oh, am foliage. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so it could totally be me. I could be the problem. I can't seem to focus on anything that's happening. But here's the thing that's kind of weird about this. Considering that this is a grown man who was a baby, but became an adult, and then went back into being a baby. And he is fighting over who gets to be the bigger boss baby against his own niece, who is an actual baby. I have a theory that the boss babies are not human. Aliens that are trying to fit in to human society in order to one day take over without us even noticing. Baby Eaglet is leaving the nest. The thing is, I'm not trying to come across this in a cynical way. It's just happening. <laughs> That's adorable. You oh, I just want to eat it with a spoon. <gasps> you know what it is? The background is not eye-catching. That was like word world eye hated that show because the background was green grass and a blue sky feels like i'm in one of those horror genre movies where you know every house looks the same where all the kids come out onto the block and then they do something simultaneously pufferfish <laughs> deploy spikes Spikes. Ah. Are you telling me they're not gonna love the baby anymore if his hair gets wet? <laughs> Hang on to your romper, Ricky. <laughs> Code wet. Or the father could have just seen the water and avoided it. See, this is what I don't like. Shows that make adults stupid? And correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am. It just, it's just not coming to me. I cannot think of a single good show that is enjoyable to watch where the adults are dumb. And immediately I just thought of the Fairly Odd Parents. But the thing about what the Fairly Odd Parents did is that they were dumb in a way where you couldn't help but laugh because it was so stupid where you're like, no, there's no way you're that dumb. They were dumb in a way where you were questioning your own sanity. This is a dumb in a way where you want to break something. Do you ever, have you ever eaten popcorn? Have you ever eaten kettle corn and then it makes your lips swell up. Trust that I know my job. I hate to keep pausing this and prolonging. Watching this? This is supposed to be entertaining someone. <laughs> Whoopsie shoozy. <laughs> Five. This is the weirdest thing ever. And you know that rule where they're like, don't stare at people? That doesn't apply to babies. Baby, how weird is that? Do you think? Just staring at a child. This is just creeping me out because they're arguing over this child. And then they're, and then the boss babies are trying to do things to make the child more cute so that the humans can love them. This is why I know they're aliens. This is an alien agenda. The subliminal messages they're trying to impute into children's brains, don't allow your children to watch this. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Look, I just came to say good job. Back at ya. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> I'm on- 
French-speaking markets. But Snuggers diaper. This is the weirdest thing ever because they no longer look like babies. They look like bobbleheads come to life. Or those dolls. You know those dolls with a huge head? It looks like they're just the dolls come to life. They don't even look like babies anymore to me. That's because I've surpassed their agenda. I know who they really are. We'll on take it. care of it. <laughs> Why? It's not my fault society has trained us to overvalue celebrity. We might be onto something about consumer culture and how celebrities were made for consumption, not to be treated as human beings. Iggy's dad is incredibly devoted. Almost never takes his eyes off him, even when Iggy's sleeping. Yeah, the sound. I don't know. It can't be that unsafe, uh, right? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. The show is called The Boss Baby. It's supposed to be about the boss baby, but this family is so much more intriguing. Their family dynamic, that could be the show itself. Please leave the babies alone. This, this, I'm already, I'm plugged in. The girl wants a boomerang. I want her to get that boomerang. You know, you don't have to keep doing that. It's not for you anymore. You know, there's allowance money just That's waiting for buddy. you to finish your chore list. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Oh, those will be our little boomerang's first words. What's the problem? Hey, come on, field team. I know I have to keep quiet. You don't have to shush me. How did they, how did they not see that giant, red fire truck in the middle of vast nothingness. How did they not see? They broke into this man's house so they could fix his child's lice problem so that they can get more love juice from other humans. They Did you see how well planned out her whole little presentation was so she could get a boomerang? And how her friend came in and did pantomime and continued to pantomime even when they weren't watching me because she said, I wasn't doing it for you. That's funny. That is what gets me rolling. And I don't know about you or your children, but that's the story that children need to see. A story about a girl who wants her boomerang, not a story about breaking and entering other people's houses so you can fix their child's life so then you can have other people love them for your own games also they're exploiting this child and the poor kid is none the wiser find out how he stumbled onto lice Co's secret hq <laughs> and bust it wide open i'm not gonna lie jj is growing on me she's pretty adorable well that's jj paralyzed with indecision so how do we split up the rest of the team i think it's because i can relate to her i'm a push stroller man don't ask me to be what i'm not <laughs> that was pretty funny. Also, I've come to the realization that the world doesn't revolve around me and everything that I find funny may not be funny to someone. Or do I let him find out? Oh! Oh, ten pounder. Hold on to it, Pam. I'll be right there. Uh, no, no, no. We sell seashells down by the seashore. It's a theme business and has always been. Come on. <laughs> you know I'm your favorite. Ownership. Wash the windows and dust the blinds. Deal! Hey! Love you, Tina. We'll boomerang like this is the longest episode in the world! <laughs> there are so many bones in the human foot. I never know the right words, so I just try things. He's growing on me too. It is strong. How can I ever repay you? No need, sir. I have my reward. <laughs> hey, me. I'm trying. Was it terrible? No. It was just there. We could also go into the notion of false multiculturalism and the aspect of using people of color while having them being led by people not of color, but I'm not a good- uh, we're not gonna get into that. Let's compare this with an episode of one of my favorite childhood 
shows and I'm gonna try to look at it as objectively as possible. Hi, I'm <laughs> My name's Tyrone. I'm Uniqua. I'm Tasha. My name's That intro brings tears to my eyes in a way it just feels so beautiful and crafted. But you know you know how something you can tell its purpose from the very beginning. We are castaways. All we wear ahoy. Ooh! Cindy Lop. Changing secret. And I like my beverage shake and think my super spy. Super spy! I do not intend to discredit the amount of hard work and dedication it takes to make an animation film too, and multiple episodes of a series. I think it's important to understand how much work really does go into animation and creating and writing stories, which is why it's even more important that if we are going to make media for children that it is as enriching as possible helping pave the way for future leaders and creators and writers and journalists nurses perhaps i am being quite cynical against something because it's not something that i watched as a child and maybe someone watching the boss baby is gonna look at it fondly years from now. Again, this is all my opinion. There's just some things that kids absolutely love. But the Boss Baby is terrifying. It is a horror film. Babies wearing suit, talking like adult, making transactions. If you're here, wow. Thanks for watching.